We're talking about bullying and mobbing, and I'm linking it to social media context. Uh, I am Joanne Orovec from the University of Wisconsin at Whitewater, and I'm very happy at the turnout uh, for an education panel. I think that uh, education and peace uh, should be very tightly linked, and so this is very good. Now, uh, the very sad part of what uh, um, I have to present uh, starts off with something a lot of you have heard had heard uh, quite a bit about quite recently. Uh, an individual, a very, very talented individual from Rutgers University, uh, and an individual who had a scholarship, uh, who was well on his way to a brilliant career, uh, committed suicide, and in a way that was linked to social media. And one of the very important aspects of what uh, we can gain from this is that uh, social media work together in so many different ways to uh, uh, be part of people's lives and to flesh out the various uh, uh, threads in a research context can be difficult. I think uh, the, the story involved with Tyler Clementi's untimely death is so intricate, it has so many layers that to say it's a social media bullying or mobbing incident is, is, is difficult. Uh, and talk about research on bullying and mobbing. A great deal of research has been conducted in the, the UK in general, in Europe, less so in the United States. So when I proclaim ignorance as to a particular researcher, some of you may know, please forgive me on that. Um, perhaps the legacy of not, Nazi tactics would have stimulated this research going way back uh, and, and also um, uh, elsewhere uh, in the world, uh, legislation is a, a bit ahead of the United States. We're still working uh, in the United States and in particular in Wisconsin on bullying and mobbing legislation to deal with these uh, very difficult topics. And uh, also in terms of emergence, social media platforms are just emerging and privacy uh, concerns are, are uh, an amazing part of it. Is What are social media? Uh, I regularly perform surveys of my classes uh, and other groups on campus as to how many hours individuals spend on Facebook. And of course, the very beginning, you know, a, few hour, a few hours a week, and now Facebook is taking up several hours a day on the part of individuals. And I remember my first astonishment at uh, dealing with my uh, uh, research assistants and all of that, and, and, and hearing about two or three hours, that's impossible. And, and the, the students looked at me, and they said, a lot of this is during class. <laughs> so of course, two or three hours, it's, it's easy to come up. Now, MySpace is still very heavily used in the uh, music sectors uh, and, and some social sectors, some um, groups uh, still favor MySpace, but it is moving out of the primary uh, 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 space of social media. Uh, Facebook, of course, is being portrayed in a movie that is going out into uh, public circulation. I guess today is the opening day. This is an inter interesting conjunction of, of uh, activities. Um, it's called the social network, and it portrays in all too stark a fashion, the unhappy nexus between something that is a social media, bringing people together, and also some very bitter and very negative forces. Uh, the, the entire movie is about conflict, it's about lawsuits, it's about people using uh, social uh, media uh, for purposes that may not be uh, so much uh, uh, for understanding and for cooperation and for peaceful interchange, but for um, uh, one-upping each other and status. Uh, so uh, when you, when you uh, uh, have a little time and you go to the movie theater or you rent the movie eventually uh, and you see something called a social network, uh, you might be surprised again with this unhappy uh, uh, situation. Flickr is a website that uh, is of interest to us as well because people put up vacation photos on Flickr. Uh, those vacation photos uh, uh, often have uh, children. Sometimes those photos eventually land up 
uh, for example, uh, uh, young children in swimsuits and all of that, in the rosters of photos collected by pedophiles and other individuals who uh, are collecting in, uh, photos for unhappy purposes. There's, uh, as, as I've, I've noted through a number of the, the billboards around town in, in Winnipeg, uh, a cyber tips hotline, line, uh, cybertips.ca, where one can report such abuses. If you find that uh, uh, children's photos are in places online where you suspect they are being used for uh, uh, aspects of, uh, of life that have nothing to do with the happy, uh, happiness we, we wish for children. LinkedIn is a social network. Uh, that is used by many, many uh, uh, individuals to uh, build their resumes. Uh, and this, in a, in a climate where jobs are very few and far between, has been, become an important resource. Um, Wikimedia, I have an example of, of Wikimedia up here uh, for anybody who would like to uh, 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 read the Wiki, Wikimedia definition of, of bullying and some of the materials that uh, are available in that resource. Again, collaborative work, people sharing uh, uh, information. Now, what could possibly be wrong with collaborative work and people sharing information? Well, uh, many of the people who are being portrayed in Wikimedia, Wik Wikimedia uh, and Wikipedia in general, uh, the, the, uh, the wikis, the wikis that are out there, uh, in which uh, people can uh, collaborate to uh, come up with, uh, uh, let's say, a, a history of Winnipeg or a, a history of one school or a, a details on a famous, famous individual. These are often abused when uh, political times come, come around. Uh, and again, you can change very easily. Anyone with, with uh, editing privileges, which are easy to, to acquire, can say that a certain politician was... Uh, 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 you know, had a, uh, a donkey as, a, as a, a, a mother and all that. I mean, the abuse of, of these collaborative media come into play when dirty tricks uh, emerge in campaign times and, of course, uh, um, other times of stress. Now, YouTube. Uh, individuals can put video clips. I've seen video clips of professors who have had tantrums in classrooms and thrown cell phones and all of that. Just put professor and cell phone on, on Wiki, uh, I mean, in, in YouTube, and you'll, you'll, you'll uh, find out what I mean. Uh, when one is in almost any public context, materials can be collected put online, and of course transformed in various ways. One can edit materials so that the worst part of what is being said is, and, and none of the context is, is delivered. Uh, and uh, such, such renderings can ruin people's careers. Indeed, things are taken out of context. Uh, in the United States, an individual was, was, was fired, uh, ultimately uh, regained a position, but was fired because of uh, uh, a YouTube uh, uh, rendition uh, uh, showing a very short part of a longer presentation on uh, uh, her civil rights background. Um, again, uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, editing of material is easy to do with the technology we have. It used to be you have to have, you, you'd have an editing room and you'd have professionals who would be taking clips. I did uh, a few uh, uh, instructional videos in the late 1980s and we would have uh, people who would literally take, take film and splice things together and, and make things uh, perfect. Uh, today, almost all of that technology is available uh, to almost anyone, and, and the, the raw stuff for those video clips can be obtained through one's, one's cell phone. So, uh, indeed, we're moving in a different era. And, of course, Twitter. These very short messages, 140 characters, uh, can pack a lot of information. Uh, Twitter played a role in the un untimely passing of uh, um, Tyler Clementi, the individual I referred to uh, uh, just a, a short while ago, the 19-year-old who committed suicide because uh, Tyler was filmed having sex and the live uh, feed was uh, broadcast to people, the link was broadcast to people through Twitter. So people could find out on cell phones uh, if one would be uh, uh, view, uh, uh, accessing Twitter through cell phones or through one's council, uh, that this was going on, uh, click on the feed and view this unhappy individual uh, uh, 
uh, having sexual activity. Uh, it's, it's an unfortunate situation, but again, uh, there's a kind of technological imperative here. If something is, I, I, uh, making sure I get my major messages out here, uh, and again, I have the PowerPoint and everything nicely structured, but uh, uh, you can sense that if mischief can be done, it will be done. And it may be done in unfortunate settings. Uh, I, I uh, love my athletes. I have a number of students who are athletes that I try to attend functions and walking past one of the locker rooms. I saw a sign at the University of Wisconsin at uh, Whitewater, uh, no cell phones in the locker rooms. Uh, why? Because it's all too easy to take that cell phone picture of someone, it lands up on YouTube, the person is, is disrobed, et cetera, et cetera. One never knows when this happens. And uh, I frankly can't see a logical end to any of this coming. So uh, education is the way uh, to be handling uh, these situations, education and, and empathy. We need to, to reach out to individuals. Uh, and for those of you who, who've written books and written articles, I know a lot of people in this room who have done this uh, and uh, uh, have uh, had uh, postings on Amazon.com, uh, uh, book reviews. Uh, again, can make or break a person. And, and all of this is available to the average person. It used to be you'd have to be uh, vetted through many editors and all that to obtain a book review. I, you know, the privilege to write a book review. Now, anyone, whether or not one has read a book, can put a book review and, and, uh, and get uh, a lot of traction for it on Amazon.com. And the very scary part of all of this, in conjunction, online educational systems Many students are spending more and more time online. We have an MBA program entirely online. One never has to be on a physical campus to get a, a, master, a master's in business administration from the University of Wisconsin at Whitewater. So all one's interaction is online. Uh, how could these various uh, forms of, of uh, uh, exchange, uh, communication, uh, uh, lead to an unhappy experience online. Uh, people indeed uh, exchanging information behind one's back, perhaps mischaracterizing one's uh, 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 educational performance, etc. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we are moving very quickly into a higher education sphere which is online, uh, primarily, like, primarily online in some circumstances, without understanding the full impact of having so many comments online. Now, if someone asks a very silly comment in my classroom, uh, or uh, uh, I had a student actually fall asleep, drift off and fall asleep, because he was working third shift, and this was an early morning class, uh, uh, that just, just disappears. But what happens when there is a podcast of that, or a recording of that uh, interchange? Uh, a recording that other students will see ultimately, a recording that basically lives on way past uh, that performance. Uh, we need to think of the class more and more as a venue for this type of uh, uh, capturing of, of interaction. Mm -hmm.